Hi there, Gary from um, Fugitive Bushcraft here at the Bushcraft Show today. And with me is Chris Payne. Hello mate, how are you? How are you? Very nice to meet you. Good, good, good. Um, so what do you reckon to the show so far there, Chris? What's, what? Highlights, what? highlights yeah. of the show, loved it. I mean, okay, the weather's been a bit bad. Yeah. Um, the money put people off. Um, and I'm not going to love it. Love meeting the people I remember. People on Facebook, YouTube, a few friends out here I know. Yeah. Um, it's been lovely. It's been a great day. Cool. And Chris Kane, obviously, you know, is, is Chris Kane survival. And have you got any new adventures and stuff coming up? Yeah, yeah I have. And um, stuff? I've got survival courses um, going to be starting probably um, August time onwards. I'm going to start running courses again. Um, I've got a new new guy um, called Cal who's, who's going to be helping me. I've also got another friend who's not here today um, who's away in Manchester, Ian Lomas, who's a, who's a, who's a great instructor who's helped me in the past. Um, he, he Beginners, beginners, intermediate, intermediate and probably advanced. The advanced, well. the advanced courses are on, on, on not really, you know, I'd, I'd rather people were quite, you know, not too fit, but fit enough because they'd be moved every day, um, the change of scenery will be every day, um, and, and you, you won't get what it is, is the kit you stand up in. Yeah. And if you can scrounge stuff from the fence line and stuff, um, you'll be shown yeah, how to Moving along, foraging. Yeah, moving along, foraging, and it'll be like three to five yeah. days. I say, just change the scenery each day, that's kind of like a holiday. It, it, well, to me it's a holiday, but to them it's going to be, you know, it will yeah, be it's quite be hard, hard work to be testing, so yeah. the idea is that you can actually do it, you know, so that, that's yeah. what I'm so after. Yeah, so they're, they're kind of constantly moving, foraging, yeah. nomadic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, plants, yeah, whatever we can find. Bits of good wood. Bits of good wood, anything we can find, we'll, we'll, we'll crack on. Every day there's a lesson, yeah. every single day. Every, every minute in there. Yeah, yeah, there's a medic going to be there 24 7. Overnight we're going to have to watch them, so they'll be you know, so they off and on with us. Yeah. So we'll be watching them. So they're all safe. Sure. Also, yeah. Land Rover behind them, you know, so there'll be no. Nobody's going to get hurt, it's lovely. Yeah. They're going to enjoy it. Well, hopefully they enjoy it. Yeah. Well, it's not about enjoyment, is it? You know, if, if survival was about enjoyment, yeah. You know, we'd be all, all putting ourselves in danger all the time. Yeah, the idea is But not you're there to learn, situation. aren't they? Yes, they yeah, are. So yeah. If they can have fun doing it. Yeah. And Chris, like, Chris is a great guy, right? He's got a great sense of humour. You're going to have a whale of a time anyway, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, of course they are. They love me. Yeah, I have a joke every day. That's it. <laughs> you don't get down, do you? You know, everybody else, sometimes it goes raining and you see people go, oh, it's raining. No. You know, you know, it's like, no, oh, great. Just crack on, keep you're, going. Just happy as a pig and shit. Yeah, just keep going. Chris's. You might as well. Yeah. Um, there is other things coming up. Um, yeah. Pathfinder School are now selling my, my knives. Yeah. Um, it, it's going to get bigger, it's going to get more aggressive. Um, I'm involved with uh, Dave quite a bit, I, I suppose he's selling my knives. There's other things that are coming up at the moment. You know, I'm in discussions on certain stuff. But the survival tool, the companion, and the survival knife. Yeah. The survival knife at the moment is a pathfinder school. Um, companions are going on. I'm still going to be doing around the cabin at the moment. I'm taking a break because I've got shows and stuff yeah. to sort out. Um, yeah. it's busy, it's busy. I'm yeah. still going to just be around the cabin. Um, great guy, uh, Rich the Rich Hunter. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely work. So I'll be, I'll be speaking to him at the end of the year and uh, we'll go back again. Um, we've also got Jamie Burley. He keeps tagging me on there at night about 3 o'clock in the morning telling me to go in there on his show, which is great. Jamie's yeah. a lovely bloke. So uh, yeah, all involved. Good, good okay, stuff. Cool. And you, you brought us um, one of your survival knives well, to this show is, this is right? it. We're at the Bushcraft Show. This is the survival knife or the tool that I use. Yeah. Um, obviously, we've got a cool drawer of sheath, black. Um, yeah, I've handled this a bit. This one is used. It's not it's one used. It's not, not to play, no. Yeah, it's not um, for sale. I've had the... I've had the Um, what you normally do is put this over your wrist and you're going to 
can hold onto the edge of this up here. Yeah. And what this does is it takes the weight off the blade and you can carve with this up here, you know, for skinning yeah. or whatever, or finishing or whatever, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I also got another a smaller one, which is a companion um, and a small survival knife. Um, so they're at the show at the moment. They're on beneath the stars. Yeah. So have a quick look. Yeah, of course you can. Have a quick look. Mind the blade is sharp. Yeah. I have to say that the hand, you can see as you hold it, you, you know, it's lovely, it's, isn't that it? isn't going to yeah. stick out, is it? No, that's mean. not going to go anywhere. And yet you still got ways of moving around. Yeah. yeah you can do and the two finger slashing grip if you're in the jungle. Yeah. The other thing is, if people have got my tools, you can adjust the handle yourself. Get yourself some rough sandpaper if you're not happy with it. The other idea is keep telling people when this is right, when this is like this, this cuts before your knuckles, but normally yeah. your knuckles mash into the wood. The idea is to have a big belly so that this will go in first before your knuckles, so you don't yeah. bash your knuckles. But uh, I use it, I'll use this better than that, actually. I'm used to using cookeries, yes. uh, because my friend was a uh, very good friend, right. who passed away, unfortunately, called Shree. And with a company when they cut and chop, they do that. It's like you said, you know, you, you're, you're supporting that with that. Yes, yes. But it's like, yeah. yeah. You see videos of people trying to slice an apple with an apple back here. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why would you? You know, bring, bring your hand up. up. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. You know, yeah, that's, that's it. Get a grip yeah. because it's all, it's all good on the back here. You're not going to damage yourself. No, so, that's why I've grabbed it this off yeah. for safety and for battening. Just sharp there. Yeah. Just sharp there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. In America, Germany, France, Holland, and yeah, the, 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 the smaller, the smaller version, the companion. companion. Yes. Yeah. And people said, "Oh, this is too big." Too to big. me, to me, that is kind of. I don't, I don't see that as being big at all. I'm not sure what the blade is. What's it's that? It's ten, ten and a half. Yeah. It doesn't. It, it, ten and a half inches. But it doesn't actually feel like it's ten. Right. No. It yeah. feels like it's more eight. Yeah. The I, I, know, I know. It's just the way it feels. Yeah. You know what I mean? By, by. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. The companions eight. Got a small survival knife. The, the, the tool's great, but people did say, have you got anything smaller? Yeah. So the, companion. the companion can fit in a rucksack, fit down into a pocket like you're in the woods on the street. It hasn't got the weight of the tool as, but it will do the same job as a survival And it's also a convex grind. Convex well. grind. I actually them. like convex grind yeah. because they just seem to last and last. Yeah. Well, the cutting edge on that will last. Say this is Chris's tool, and he, he's been using it, and I can't see any dings or dents in that tool. Yeah, metal liners, really nice little tool. That was great. And, and also the sheath, of course, the way it goes in, yeah. your hands away Safe. from the blade. It's got to you know, be away from the blade. Like Lofty says with his, you know, it is kind of your hands got to be away from Don't the blade. Don't put your otherwise. hands like this. Look, okay. Yeah. Make sure that this is this is open. This flap's open. And then we push the blade in slowly. Your hands yeah. are free, no no action, and then just push the flaps across and it pops up. And that is it. That's it. It's great. Cool. The reinforcing's down here, obviously. But this is the control one. There is a leather sheath to go with this as well. Yeah, yeah. So we've been having a look at some of the leather sheaths on there. Haven't yeah, we? yeah. Stand behind you. Yeah. From uh, uh, beneath, sunny, beneath the stars. Beneath the stars. Does some private um, sheaths for me as well. So, yeah. Yeah. It's good. Cool. And your website is chriscainesurvival.com. Yeah, chris that's right. Okay, chriscainesurvival.com. Go and have a look at it. It's a very look. nice, clean, clean, shiny site. Yeah. It's very, it's very nice. I have been on there. Yeah. Um, yeah, go and check out and keep up to date with Chris and his videos. All right, thank you. And I'll see you again. Cheers. Bye bye now. Cheers.